Hello guys, this video is about Dasaita car entertainment system or car entertainment system. We are going to see first unboxing and installation and after installation some useful features how we can use it. This entertainment system is specially made for Suzuki Swift 2005 to 15 version models. I have Maruti Suzuki Swift India version. Uh, this is suitable for all Suzuki Swift models manufactured during year 2005 to 2015. So Desaita have infotainment system for most of the cars. You can check on their website. The best thing is that it has outer frames also along with entertainment system. So it fits really well in your car. The link is given below. So let's see inside. User manual. OBD2 which is optional, wiring harness, back camera kit which is also optional and finally infotainment system. It is 10.2 inch screen, back panel, various accessories as you can see on the diagram and it's also included in the manual. On back side, inside edge of the infotainment system, there is 8 GB micro SD card slot, which has 8 GB card installed by seller as a gift. Also, it has installed all navigation maps on it according to our country, ready to use without internet requirement. Let's take some more features online. As you can see, it has GPS plus GLONASS so you will get more accurate GPS with strong signals. Android 8, 4 GB RAM plus 32 GB ROM, 8 cores, 10.2 IPS screen, pre-installed navigation maps, microphone as gift, it has wheel key control support, TPMS module support as optional accessory. TPMS is tire temperature monitoring system, 4G modem support, which is also optional accessory you can attach, USB plus AUX included, it has three USB inputs, phone mirror link support, Google Play Store support as you can have as many apps as you want, multi-language support, Apple CarPlay support with optional accessory DVR camera support which is also optional accessory you can attach to this system it has very fast boot time 3 seconds as fast boot time and cold boot time is 20 to 25 seconds it supports most of the audio formats and video formats it has TDA7850 audio processor which gives 4 into 55 watt amplification and clear sound. It also has radio IC and XP6686 fitting mounts and wire harness. It includes AV cables, camera AUX cable, single USB cable, dual USB cable, GPS antenna, mic, power cable and manual. It also has DAP plus dongle which is optional accessory. This is far better than FM. So that's on the side. Let's check physical installation of the device. Note you have to cut and rejoin the wire harness as per the color code if given harness is not compatible with your car. Which is pretty simple and it can be done by professional car accessory shop which deals with installation work. As you can see, my old power cable is now wired with the new power input cable following the color code diagram. So that's the main thing I was concerned before purchase. Also, I took all measurements and checked online for details and contacted seller and made sure that it will fit with my car. As you can see, installation is going on and old system is removed. Finally, here it is. Here you can see it's being installed. As you can see, there is a little bit cap in dashboard and infotainment system, which was gone after after cutting one centimeter plastic part from original internal fitment 
I'm not sure it maybe it's for my car only because it is Maruti Suzuki Swift ZXI 2006 version but it's not an issue it was very easy fix check the boot time power on and off is very quick so it's ready now and it's time to check the features practically the touch screen is very responsive let's check system information it has 32 gb storage android os version 8 8 core 64 bit processor cpu cortex a53 at 1.5 gigahertz 4 gb memory i have attached usb pen drive and some mp3 songs and video on it to check so let's check the performance first audio and then video i see Videos. The would me. Well, guess what? It has RDS FM. Radio Nashapar. 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 Radio Papa, boy, boy. FM again with various FM stations. Well, it's, we would not have this show without his music. So we'll talk. Map initial setup. Google Maps, GPS signal strength, Jack Jack me, Mumbai City, Radio City, 91.1 FM, Calculator, Amplification resets. Better settings as you can drive to any of the speaker in your car. Really nice feature. Right now I have two speakers installed in front doors, left and right, so it will not affect back speakers. It has DPM support. 
I have not purchased this optional kit but as you can see the app is already installed and it is supported by the system. The infotainment system also supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. You can install any applications from Play Store. Navigation system with powerful signal and offline map without internet. Welcome. Do you want to exit navigation? This is rear view camera test. So this is daylight rear view camera test. and this is night vision rear view camera test So that's it for this video. This was quick introduction of car infotainment system. Hope you find this video helpful. There is product link in description below. Let me know if you have any doubts in comment section below. Next time I will try to include your queries or I can reply to your comments or I can make another video regarding specific topic in it. If you like it, please do share and thanks for watching.